What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, I accidentally gave Russia the wrong region to make peace. So the game of the game now is to rebuild our troops and get ready to attack and devour these troops in the pocket because right now we've got some fairly good armies actually here. One thing I do need to do after the destruction of those previous units is rename first... Royal Welsh, I remember, because these units, the, the original units died in a great, uh, great battle against Russia. First Royal Welsh Grenadier Regiment, second Royal Welsh Grenadier Regiment. There we go, the first second have risen again, and we also have another uh, request for Hessian unit, which hop over to Europe. So, great options here, three star unit there, three, three chevron unit there, but needs replenishment. <clears throat> I'm going to pick this one, three, three chevron unit here, and it wants to be called the 19th. Uh, Uh, 19th Hessian Regiment Fuse 19th Fusilier Regiment Von Lossberg uh, Actually if I get rid of just get rid of the 19th Von Lossberg Boom there we go. Now that's all up and re up and ready. This army, when they finish replenishing, are probably going to go for a hit, go for a, go to try and attack uh, New Spain, I think. And this force here, at New Orleans, I want to slowly expand to go take out Santa Fe. But there's no immediate rush because it's a very unprofitable region. But right now, things are pretty steady. Um, I'm building up some ships in Portsmouth to expand my fleet, ready to make sure I don't get screwed over by Spain. This small fleet. Oh no, build Bill Bowers and there's nothing there actually. Can't bottle up that French fleet. I don't want to send you to send you to the Baltic because you will get attacked. My home fleet's still quite strong, and they're gonna be bolstered by the addition of some second and third rates, and a fifth rate added on to the end. In terms of tech, so you hop straight on to improved grape shot. Which I think I'd rather you go on to something like Cadence Marching to get the Royal Welch Fusiliers. Or just go straight for something like Measuring Tools. Eh. Maybe Lime Juice and Sauerkraut might be good actually instead of that. To get the uh, reduction in upkeep. And as well as an early naval hospital if we want it. Now, let's hit end turn, because I expect Russia will, in due course, uh, declare war on us. But that won't be a problem, because we are slowly building up reinforcements in the region, as well as expanding our empire in the Americas to provide lots of goods to trade. And I would like to land an army in Western Europe to, to uh, take the war t against Spain somehow. Because they're going to keep blockading my ports. So that's part of the reason why I'm building up my uh, my own naval capacity. Hopefully you guys get onto a boat and then you'll leave. That's what I'm hoping. So fundamentally there's two prongs at work here. There's expanding in the Americas to try and earn as much cash as possible. There's building up my fleets to try and fend off Spain. There's building up my armies in Eastern Europe to fight off Russia but I would also like to build up another army in England and land them in France to try and uh, push against Paris in fact if I get any agents on the continent which I don't think I have any well if I, I, don't, have any, I don't have any agents at home when I do I'll drop them onto the continent to see what's going on 
Obviously there's this army right here that's quite competitive. Fifth, fifth, heavy war galleon. Okay, take my home fleet and hit them. Not really bothered about taking any of them into my service. God damn, auto resolve. <sighs> well, that's pretty, pretty big. Good job I've got my, uh, <laughs> my more some more ships coming through. Okay, let's add on a third-rate ship of the line, and let's pick up some economy upgrades in good old England include well I might get these port upgrades she ports and weavers I think is a good idea it's elsewhere ooh new port in Florida that's pretty good you are I mean oh, there's only one unit replenishing so let's get you over to Fort Louis de la Mobile. I might send this sloop Suffolk over to see what's over there. Okay, I can't get directly into the port because there is a Spanish fleet, but I can land and then march up to New Spain. Can these dragoons leave Chicasa? They can, so they can go down and join the forces here. New Orleans, and to be honest, they're probably ready to push against Santa Fe. Got some basic roads and more ports. And the, got this navy embarked. Put to sea. So you men recruit the sloop to occupy Order. the port and sail down. Abandon Martinique. Paramaribo is... Order. Gosh, it's two extra 2,000 tax income. It's just land. Land and move up. Uh, see, I can't go to the south either because there's already another bad little navy there. So let's get this guy over to Barbados to prevent this army from joining the action. I might get, actually, if I cancel recruitment of the sloop instead, oh, I can't recruit anything there. If I get Cavalryman over to Guadeloupe, I can get the fifth rate over to San Jose to make sure we've got no way, no easy targets for them to raid. That's my objective. And my agent is oh, yeah, he's working his way up to Fort Nashwack to help convert them to Protestant Protestantism. But yeah, fundamentally we've got a lot of demands. A lot of demands for our cash, and not quite as many avenues to exploit them. Or at least not as many... Well, we've got a lot of ways to spend the money, but we don't have a lot of ways... Oh, we don't have a lot of cash to actually support it. Um, no, keep going down the naval route. Terence Bacon's slippery character. Yep, yeah, let's hit end turn. I think it's important I keep growing my navy. Yes, I am going to intercept because that will allow us to engage their forces in the open. And I will want to take Paramaribo. As I said, it's worth 2,000 in uh, tax income as well as... Well, not 2,000 in tax income. It's 2,000 generated through tax and through trade. But Paramaribo does have some mines and some good industry as well as good resources to trade. So... Okay, be aware of the fact that I am expecting just one unit to be there and the reinforcements to come in from the flank. So I'm going to keep my artillery limbered up, have some troops ready to move out, have some reinforcements ready to deploy to wherever is necessary and some Rogers Rangers on the flank. Oh, God. Yeah, this is... Curse you. Curse you, Total War.
this militia and this militia and the rangers can engage that unit of Hessian line. Okay, you guys pivot. Actually, the militia hunker down. Yeah. Understandable, they would get charged and they're pr probably going to get followed up. My militia that are upset from that fire. Fundamentally, these are mounted light cavalry, so you guys are hidden. So when these men are in range, the militia are going to fire. First volley. There we go. The cavalry's been beaten. String my light infantry out. They managed to hit my marines, which is nice of them. None of these guys have got fire at all turned on, because I'm a dummy. Let's begin to surround these Hessians. These Hessians don't have bayonets yet, but I do, so even though I've got militia... Who are you waiting for? Good, no one. Fire! For you to fire a volley into the back of those Regiment Hessian line. Well, stop firing. I mean, they may as well chase, that, chase down that Regiment of Foot. You men charge the Bowman Auxiliary because they've already bashed into their front line there anyway. Get this Scottish line into that native Bowman Auxiliary. See, if I had cavalry... If I, if I had cavalry, I'd have been able to mow them down a lot more. But I'll still take the win. I'm curious to see what happens to this, this unit on the left. Good, it died. I was afraid it would... Ooh, do you want to try again? They're bringing up their uh, reinforcements from the southeast. So, yes. Because they're all coming from one direction now. We can shoot the bejesus out of them. Denature the entire French holding in South America and then capture these territories and bring them into the fold which I think will be quite a fantastic outcome there we go so let's put my line infantry across the board is a bit depleted not so happy about the uh, trees so I might keep my artillery out of that zone. Let's make a good position with my Scottish line. Uh, let's put my marines in a unit of Hessian line to cut, sort of anchor the left flank and the right flank where I want to try and push up is I'm going to use my marines and line my militia and line and my skirmishes so I'm acutely aware that the enemy what the enemy wants to do is move their oh I, f oh, I forgot they're over there alright in which case then you guys set up a line I thought they were more over there. I completely read the map wrong, fundamentally. Let's 
and I'm going to make them run because I need to get their put, uh, put their foot down. So this unit of guns is... One mounted tribal auxiliary. It's coming in for a charge as well. Oh, shot to bits. Some more mounted tribal auxiliary. So the gunners can try and shoot at... Okay, the militia is the army that's strong. Well, stronger. Okay, they've gone. They've gone stealthy with their bowmen. So push up. There they are. There we go. They will not like close range volley fire. So even though these guys are militia, they're not necessarily the best. They're doing okay, and they've only got to last as long as it'll take for me to get my left line into action. So they've not been laid out very efficiently at all. Good, Rogers Rangers helping picking off some more native bowmen auxiliary. But then they'll soon start to engage the 30th Regiment afoot. There they go. No advanced firing drills for them. So these units don't fire. Get into a better position. They've beat the retreat, so pick new artillery targets. Don't worry about my militia. There's plenty of militia coming in. We're going to sweep in and knock out the left flank pretty effectively. Worst comes to the worst, I'll just charge you guys straight into the uh, the bowmen. You are getting some hits now. Now my marines are finally getting into the mix and I'll be ready to hit the 12th regiment of foot. Get ready, men. Look at all that. Field of, field of dead. So they've, yeah, they've picking new targets because they whatever they were shooting at just got uh, routed. Okay, let's begin to set up our line to be a bit more on the offensive side because right now, except I'm not using my my line infantry isn't laid out 100% efficiently, which itself isn't a problem. Uh, let's pick you. Because what this will do is put more... Oh, they charged my militia. Good on them. Didn't work, but there we are push the militia up. The gunners are still making grand work of the militia. Native Bowman Auxiliary. The Marines have something to say to you. Okay. 
push you man up. These units push up. Tribal auxiliary. Focus fire with my how with my artillery because they're quite nice targets. Yes. Well, the bowmen have routed, but the Hessian line have decided to charge, and my marines are going to see them off. Pick these. This infantry to the rear is a new target, as you can see there's some friendly fire going on here. But yeah, they are just light cavalry, fundamentally. Push up to the bank of the trees. We'll push up to the edge of the tree line. Rogers Rangers no longer have a role to play. Well, they will somewhat soon. Some native bowmen at danger close. So these guys are going to be sat there feeling dead chuffed for themselves because they've got bows and arrows. And we're going to be sat there going, oh no, 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 no. I don't know, you might be actually be okay. Because you might might be able to fire over the Scots into the 37th Regiment of Foot. So they do have... I'm sure they're within range. Okay, let's run up. Either way, they're going to go down quick. Okay, they've been fired on in the, fl in the flank. They're wavering. See how many friendly Scotsmen die. A handful. Got some militia to the rear. Yeah, not very efficient use here. But, to be honest, we're not against a very advanced enemy. You've done magnificently, my militia line. You tighten the noose into the corner of the map. The 50th Regiment of Foot. They're not going to last for long. See, just a line of British troops everywhere then it'll be my militia to do the to deal the final blow to the general's bodyguard or well, one of them one of the final units to deliver the killing blow a couple of them were downed no he's had enough aids are getting shot around from all sides but he is going to make it so let's end the battle there my marines took a bit of a hammering took about 25 percent losses there but that's a pretty good ratio that's them cleared out and that leaves the uh the way open to secure paramaribo potentially without a fight we could demand the surrender Yeah, I really need to keep my fleet growing. I can't afford to let my ports become subject to raids and be blockaded because that is how you that's how you defeat Britain and everyone knows it. Don't you try it, Russia. Good. Go somewhere else. No doubt somewhere in the Americas, but there we go.
They've left, they've moved an army away from that critical strait. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good for us all in, I think. It might mean, potentially, the army that was going to march west to deal a, a killing blow to the new Spaniards might be recalled and instead put on standby to defeat whatever the Russians send against them. Come on, Barbary States. Okay, so this farm, this, well, you're okay. This army. Hmm. Get to Fort Louis de, de Mobile. We'll build a port here. Let's build another ship ready to sail them to somewhere because we'll get one turn's lag before they before they can do too much damage and we've got a bunch of money which is lovely so let's first go over to Europe so they're raiding but we're at peace with them so we don't mind let's build or begin to rebuild our home fleet in Waterford our second and third rates The 5th rate Argus can join this secondary fleet. If you guys better come back just so you can continue to challenge Spain. Okay, two more third rates. Add on another second to that. Over here, new men can pretty much stand on the border waiting for something to kick off. with artillery support then when that happens this army will then push on to St. Petersburg and cut them off from the Baltic and then continuing on with our Britain first investment strategy although fundamentally that's probably not the best thing to do because the, Britain, the Americas, there are lots of quite good options for expanding income, such as upgrading this trapper post to get more pelts to market. Pelts are good. Uh, low yield mine, we've got farms. We could upgrade some roads. We've got government buildings that could be built. Government council, for example. Newfoundland's earning a lot of money. So get upgraded roads and upgrade a farm. Actually, no, don't upgrade a farm. Don't upgrade the roads because I have to go down here, don't I? Make ready. Not enough money to replenish all of them, but enough to replenish most of them. So demand the surrender of the territory. There we go. Then at some point, actually I can steal one of the ships from Jamaica race built galleon will do get into port and secure it from foreign interference they need upgraded roads but they're growing quite well okay you're still spying you're still spying okay so i think when belfast pops up whenever five turns i might build that into another dockyard so I can have one being a high-level dockyard to provide ships to the fleet and another one being a lower-level dockyard that can provide ships to secondary raiding armies or navies, I should say. i surprised the French didn't chase the Dutch down but I suppose that would leave them a bit exposed. Okay, we can send our fleet in to go and knock out those French and you can certainly see how many... Um, armies Spain is being able to bring to bear.
I would like to build up my strength so I could pretty much blockade the entire west coast of west coast of the uh, oh, I don't like where that's going Jamaica? Eh you go for Jamaica then you relaunch my attack on the continent and Jamaica, I, I can lose Jamaica but you can't lose on the front that's the thing to remember, Russia, is I can deal with losing an island. But you guys, I'm going to be knocking on your front door and taking out St. Petersburg, which gives me safe harbour, even safer harbour in the Baltic. It's not entirely the most useful part of sea to own for Great Britain, but there we are. At least not in, not in this game, especially when I'm allied to P Prussia. Lots of war galleons and a fourth rate ship of the line. First of all, upgrading. Well, first of all, what I need to get into a habit of is going, okay, let's build a fifth rate. Why am I building another fifth rate? I must have misclicked. But let's add another third rate onto that construction queue. Let's go. Average farmland, high yield farms. We are not even top level farms. That's a good build because you're cheap. Let's go back over to the Americas, down to Paramaribo. Upgrade the governor's mansion. Replenish the rest of the army. So we've got a low yield gold mine. Average yield gem pit, but gems make a good amount of money. You don't even have roads yet, so let's get some roads up and going. Let's get the mines up and running. Actually, no, not yet. Let's get the port going on Antigua, as well as looking if we can take Henry Dayton's army. March! Minus four. Not very long to go. So we know the Russians are looking at Jamaica with Kevin McDowell as the garrison. I mean, I could, in theory sail these guys over here and garrison them which might not be a terrible idea but it does mean they could la well they could land somewhere else. well they'll land their armies next turn and then i can sail these guys down land in the port and then march up and attack them so i don't need to play my hand yet when i'm i'm going to have time to do it van is still being converted how go your how goes your road building? Okay, has that impacted your trade? The ports are bottlenecking your trade. Let's get cobbled roads. So you need to expand. Oh, do you need to expand? Oh, no, I'd like you to be a bit bigger before going over there to hit Santa Fe. But let's get back over to Europe. Yeah, I'd like a bit. I'd like a bit more, a bit more bulk, especially as I, if I have to transit. I'd like a bit more bulk before I have to worry about the French. To be honest, it'll, it's, it, it is impacting my growth, but not so much that I'm worried about having to uh, free up Greenwich immediately, especially when they're just about to clear off and probably attack the Dutch. And the Dutch have weakened them a bit, and they've gone back to port for repairs anyway. Okay, right. These, this is the thing to be careful of now. This is why I should really have a, a constant rolling um, expansion of my navy. I need to keep churning out ships to blockade their ports. Because I don't know where that army is going to go. And if, if Russia attacks me, which I suspect... Huh. Maybe they, they're keeping it in their back pocket like a, uh, a gun to my head. Good on the Moogles sending armies into the Med. Brave of them. The Barbary States really don't like someone. To send that armada up to the Baltic Sea. Prussia, that's who they don't like. Lime juice and sauerkraut. Okay. 
So instead, go on to copper. Eh, increases recruitment cost. Do I want top tier marines? Not yet. I probably would like you to go after an industrial tech, as well as an overall upgrade to the military academy and the great arsenal in London to upgrade to, to allow to reveal more upgrade spots. If I upgrade you to a naval hospital, that gets me first rate ships of the line. It does get me HMS Victory. Ooh. Royal George and all that. All that gubbins. HMS Elizabeth. I might get the naval hospital and then upgrade Belfast to a steam dry dock later. Uh, let's go to Cuba and upgrade the port. As we know, it's a problem, and all of our port, all of the uh, plantations can be upgraded. Abundant sugar, or oh, they're both abundant coffee, tobacco. Sorry, let's upgrade one of those. Some good upgrades across the board. Pensacola's been upgraded. Good. You're still replenishing. Can't procure a general because I'm an idiot and I keep forgetting. But. Uh, looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the episode. So thank you very much, guys. Not a lot's happened in this episode, but we are in a bit of a building phase still. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of Great Britain. Cheers, everyone.